Hello, hello, and hi. Uh, you know, and uh, my mother Winnie. This is going to be my episode recap of Basketball Wives LA Season 11, Episode 16 Uninvited Guests, Unintended Consequences. Okay, now I'm going to start this out by saying Franklin Turtle, who aka Brooke, meets with um, Frank. And we love Kayla. Beautiful girl. Yes, she was. But Brooke, 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 Brooke. Brooke, 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 Brooke. Girl, we understand, okay? But you speaking on Jackie, speaking on her, and turning this into a storyline is just wrong. Because every scene and dealing with this grieving process, you connect Jackie somehow to this whole situation with Kate. Or what she said. Or you can't forgive her. Okay, don't forgive her, but don't expect other people in the group not to F with her because of what y'all are going through. You, or, and you and you and uh, Pat the Puss yep. so I think this is a little bit of foreshadowing because I think Brooke and Randy are going to fall out later on because you know this is how it starts out right they'll mix up the season cut it up edited to show that they were real good friends and then when they get into it it shows the progression of what happened and this episode is going to kind of explain why because the thing about it is the brandy is on that we need to unify tip it's one thing about evelyn that she needs to understand i don't know if she's been around evelyn enough Evelyn needs a certain sex of women. First of all, she needs those women to be up her ass. If they're not up her ass, then it's a problem. That that's the first thing. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, then they must be completely loyal to her. Hey, Jennifer. Then <laughs> they can't sass her because she's their mother. Okay, so once they say one sassy word, she talks to the other group of women to get them on her side. Whether she's right or wrong, that's what Evelyn does. Evelyn has a special set of skills besides patting her puss where she can get other women on her team. And I don't know why because I never follow Boogie. Never. Ever. I didn't think it was attractive when I was in school. I didn't think it was attractive to be hanging out with the mean girls. Even though some of my friends were mean girls, I would check them bitches when I was around. I said, what the fuck I said. So on a scene that nobody cares about, we have Jennifer and her old dude, and they're talking about their wedding, and they go to get um the invitation oh by the way um brooke says that she's gonna get a tattoo of her daughter's date of birth oh that's cute she's gonna be 27 or she would have been 27 should i say they want top of the line everything so he wants no more than 100 people she's saying that the numbers may grow um they may not grow if y'all ain't paying for them pair of plane tickets so what, what what's the What's the deal, people? Are y'all paying for the trip? Sometimes when you have those over the seas wedding, the bride pays for something, you know, like the dresses or either the plane ticket. So it happens. I mean, you spending all your money, you putting a whole lot of money into this wedding. So when you're rich, rich, you can't. Jennifer is rich, so I guess she's going to fly 80 people out to Paris. Probably about, what are they, like, 
the tickets probably like six thousand. Ooh, ooh, that's a grip. <laughs> I was just about to use some mathematician skills, but no need for that. She didn't explain how she was gonna get the people there. Y'all know Brooke can't afford her own ticket. <laughs> jokes, jokes, people, jokes, jokes. I don't know what's in Brooke's pocket. But she reminds me of British. Anyway, if you know what I mean. Anyway, Evelyn and, 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 and Brooke, they go to the dog park, right? And Evelyn got this badass dog that doesn't pay her any damn attention. Hey, uh, she's whistling at the dog, and her and Brooke are talking. And, and of course, what else do they have to talk about? None other than Miss Jackie Christie. Here we go. Oh, she keeps saying, Her name is not Jackie Christie, it's Jackie Wilson. So, what the fuck is your name, Evelyn? Is your name Evelyn Zada? She talking about she acting like she ain't got nothing to hide. Well, we already know how many miles you got on that post, girl. Bye, Felicia. I can't. Ooh, do I say this in every recap? I cannot stand Evelyn Lozada. Period. So, here we go. Because, again, she thinks that she has a special set of skills, this Evelyn Lozada person. And uh, so she goes and she says, okay, well, um, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. I'm going to get in touch with Cheyenne. Cheyenne is going to be my new bestie. That's who I need to kick it with. Cheyenne. So, I'm just going to find out. Guess what? Cheyenne doesn't know much about Jackie either. She just knows about surface information. And Cheyenne is just... I wonder if Jack and Cheyenne are still friends because she just started running her damn mouth. She lets her know that, you know, they had met at one of her weddings and that Jackie was friends with one of her four um, fiancés. And Evelyn's like, uh-huh, I've been engaged four times too. Girl, but you never, okay, everybody says she never makes it down there. We have to think about Chad. She did ask Chad for 15 seconds, okay? So that counts, okay? Then she was brutally abused, allegedly. <laughs> so, moving right along. Cheyenne, did she want a spot on the show? Because I thought she was Jackie's friend. Chad. It's amazing what a little bit of taste of fame will do for these women on this show. This show is exactly like Potomac. They don't keep friends too long. So, girl, you better watch this. Shit. So, now we are an investigator slash fashion designer, sports designer, slash bona fide, what, hold yourself? I mean... Really? What is Evelyn Lozada on this show? Again, no storyline for herself. Why not go in on Jackie? Let's do it. So, today I'm meeting with Eric, and we're going to go over all the things we talked about about Jackie. Are we sure that this is the same lady? Yeah, we sure. Okay, so now it's time for me to drop the bone, because I can't hold it in no longer. I have to drag Jackie's name through the mud. Jackie, who is already still married. Did anything happen to this wedding? Mm -mm. These many, many, many weddings that Jackie had? No, because I think they celebrated the 30th renewal this year. I saw pictures. Anyway, you ain't stopping nothing over here. That's what Jackie said. I saw a video of her saying that. So there you go on that. Move right along. So, Brandy is having a dinner, right? So she wants to show some more. Well, she's done this before. You remember that season when Nia and Aria was on here? Mm hmm. Not too long ago. I think it was maybe season 10, the last time we saw good old OG, who was the star of the show, and Evelyn just done, didn't know it. 
Oh, Chancinko wanted me. <laughs> That's why I started calling her Pat the Pussy. <laughs> I guess she started patting that pussy to let people know that Ocho Cinco didn't want her because OG was ugly, right? Mm -hmm. And though I skin. How could Ocho Cinco wanted her when Ocho Cinco like the light skinned women? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, they get to the dinner and they start cooking, and they, but they talk first. And it's a problem, right? Because Evelyn does not understand why Brandy invited Jackie when she knows that everybody has an issue with her. Well, Brandy don't have an issue with her. They strain some things out, remember? They strain it out. Y'all don't know nothing about that. It's called let them all strain it out. For the last few times when I saw you, baby. Ooh, I can tell something just wasn't right. If you're sick and tired, don't want to be bothered, baby. Just say the word and I'll leave you alone. Y'all think that's from, uh, uh now, now, now you young whipper snappers. Y'all Gen X, that's right along with them. I mean, y'all might know Usher and Monica Fitch. No. Heart, soul, and R&B. Straight blue. Let them up. If you know, you know. Anyway, so they strain some things out. And Brooke is looking at Brandy like she has stole her last bone. Because she knows she only have two boys left. And the boys just ain't like the girl. So she's really missing her daughter. So. She's looking at her like. See this is again. This is what I don't like about them. They too cliquish. You can't stop me from being friends with somebody. Just because you don't like them. Okay. If I strain out a thing with a thing. Old girl. Then you mind your fucking business. But they're saying, well, why would you want her around us? You know how she's been treating us lately. How has she been treating you, Brooke? She invited you to the fun to both of you. Okay. You decide not to go in honor of your daughter. If that's how you want to roll, that's how you want to roll. But again, I don't see anything this woman has done to warrant them digging in her past like that. I said what I said. So, they questioning Brandy's loyalty. And then she said, well, Brandy, well, um, Brooke, you know I rock with you. My loyalty is going to always be with you. See that? Y'all pay attention. They are trying to click up right here. It ain't nothing wrong with being cool with Miss Jackie. Miss Jackie, baby. Oh, excuse me. I was looking at my young and weird cheer practice. I saw her run across the street to the playground. Right? And cars was moving. We know we don't move when cars move. We don't have to have no conversation. Anyway, back to the show. She made a statement. <laughs> Moving right along. So, um, so Brooke is letting her know, you know, my loyalty is with you because I rock with you. But at the same time, we are supposed to be sisters in this group. We're supposed to be forming a sisterhood. So, why are we leaving Jackie out the only married person on the show? 30 years. She made it down the aisle. She wasn't engaged four times. And wow, here comes Shiny. Well, well, well. Isn't she supposed to be Jackie's friend? Uh-oh. Evelyn is just chomping at the bit. She can't hold it no longer. It's time we reveal the secrets that she's been keeping. I hear the secrets that you keep. Mm -mm, mm -mm, when you're talking in your sleep. I hear the secrets that you keep. Mm -mm, mm -mm, when you're talking in your sleep. When you close your eye and you fall asleep, sleep, sleep. Yeah. Anyway, she's telling. She about to tell the secrets, right? All the secrets. And um, she admits that she's been doing an investigation. So here's my thing. 
y'all cool with her doing an investigation. Audience, my audience, my followers, my loyalty people that come in and watch these good videos. Y'all cool with her digging in on this woman's ice cream? Shout out to the little rapper. Getting in her business. Not minding her own damn business. Okay. So, Evelyn's like, oh, well, I think Cheyenne's going to be a good person to add to the group. And then Brooke gets into a confessional. And confessional, I repeat, and confessional. And says that um, if she's a friend of Jackie, she's a friend of none. But the last time I saw her, she was a bit of a wild child. Yeah, just like you. Boy, I cannot believe such horrendous or damn judgmental. Now, I'm with Brent. She's like, okay, now they're giving me flack for inviting Jackie. She said slack, but I'm saying the right word. They're giving me flack about inviting Jackie. But here she is going behind Jackie's back, getting cool with Cheyenne. What kind of mess is this? Correct. Because Evelyn is messy. She is the queen of mess. And she, again, gets mess started in order to get people to rock with her. That's another way she gets people to rock with her. Starting mess. So Jennifer asks, where is Jackie? I mean, isn't she supposed to be here? And then, your sister, is she still mad at us or <laughs> I just had to do Phil's voice because we had heard her talk so much in this episode. So they continue to ask about Jackie. So Cheyenne, when she comes in, they was like, where is Jackie? And they was like, well, I know you invited her, but I don't see her. So indication there. I think they uh, wanted her not to come, and production probably told her not to come, so uh, it could be more drama, and this heifer can drop the bomb without her being there. That's what I say. No, that's just my, that's what I say. My opinion. So, in this scene, we find out what a hoe Retta Evelyn really is. Because why? They're talking about sex. And then, one of the ladies says, well, Cheyenne says that he, she dates younger men. And the younger men say that he has to lube up with the young women. Right. Well, Cheyenne, a girl, if you in your 50s, I don't know about what you're saying now. But anyway, move right along. So, uh, Devlin said, well, I had a man who liked to do it on all four. All four? And like, you mean you tossed some salad? Oh, yeah. Then, how much money did he make? A oh, lot. Is that not Petusha? I thought it was Petusha. So, you different? Back. But they're slapping five about him getting on all four. Okay. So they're cooking, and Brooke can't wait because she's starving. So she gets something to eat. And uh, she's eating chicken, and then I don't eat chicken. And then uh, Oh, uh, I was watching my youngers again. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And so anyway, um, just still gets in confession. Well, this is my last time eating chicken. Cooking for anybody. Because Tasha always cooking. And I don't cook. <laughs> Every time I come to one of these events, I'm cooking something. I don't cook. <laughs> And uh, and uh, Miss Nail with the rest, right? So, Cecile go, well, just throw some shit in there. And then they was like, not me. I don't want to break a nail. And Brandon gets in. That's like, these bitches can't cook. So, um, that's why I had a chef. Correct. Why? That's another reason why to get with a reason to get with a good rich man. Why? So you won't have to cook. So you can have a 
the chef and act like you're the chef when you're really not. So they get ready to eat the food. The mac and cheese is lacking as to be expected. And then she says, ooh, the food served. <laughs> but everybody's getting along and they laugh. So that's all that matters. Right? So rounding things off at the dinner party, I found some things because I started doing some digging. Then it leaves with Joe Campbell's mouth hanging wide open. <sighs> Cheyenne, what are you doing? Just sitting there showing me that you want to be. You want to be in the groove. You want to be in the groove. Want to be. So they find out. <gasps> All the p at that table, darling, are judging Jackie. And then they said, oh, no, no, no. She was selling beef. It probably was going for $20 a pump back then. How you know? Trash. How do you know? Child, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have had your mouth open if you didn't know for a fact how much it, how much it was going for. Then she starts to cry. Oh, my God. She was talking about my daughter. She called my daughter a builder hoe. Okay. And, you know, she is pregnant, allegedly by the game. So she learned the game from you. Pun all the way intended. And that, my friends, is going to end the episode with them judging Jackie, saying that she was a P2 Way back in 1987, who at that table is still selling booty? Every last one of them, probably with the exception of Jennifer. And the only reason, and she just admitted, remember that she was selling booty when she was getting down on her knees, tossing Chad Sack and Carl Sack. Because ain't no telling what Carl want to do. He look like an old nasty freak, Chad. And she still didn't keep him. Okay? And that's that on that. And as I do, when I close, I'm going to chunk them up. Before I do, please come in, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell button so you can be notified when I upload a video. And as I do, when I close, I'm going to chunk them up. Deuces!